what do you think guys? Nice little setup in it. So I stole this camera mount idea off Spicy 110. Uh, all I'm using is a microphone stand, a telescopic type thing, uh, and then a lot of messing about with various clamps. And it, it holds the camera and that's so you can should be able to see most of the workbench from there and you've got the same kind of angle that I've got, you know. That's well I'm sitting here. You should see it as I do. Now this was going I, I don't like these headlights. Uh, I like the look of them, I think they look brilliant on the right application. But these bulbs I don't like. These I like halogen, they shake around, to be honest, they're just to me that is should only be in a house. So they're coming off. <coughs> now these are headlights from a Triumph 675 Daytona. I was hoping they'd be a little bit smaller. Uh, but as you can see, I'm going to have to work with this. Now you've heard of putting a round peg in a square hole. Well, I've got a big round peg. This is oh, we're getting we're getting big, we're getting big, we're getting big. 78 mil across. The hole I've got to work with is at best. Keep going. At best 60. So that, that won't go in there, so I obviously have to modify this quite heavily. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas in the head. What I'm thinking of using is, these are the mounting brackets. I'm thinking if I can mount them in some way like that. Uh, get something like that. And then use a core drill to drill through. That'll give me the size, then I can put these in. And then from that point, I can get the fiberglass out and modify it where need be. Maybe like that, I don't know. Why have I left that one? I do know that this flat edge is meant to be the bottom, but it doesn't actually matter if it's that way or that way, because these, the holes aren't perfectly square. See, they, they go through at that point, but they don't all go at that point, but they do at that point. So it's one way or another. And I do know that this flat end is meant to be the bottom. Yeah, because that's my low. So it's just a matter of figuring out which way I want these to mount. So I've got a nice little screw hole there. I'm thinking if I do that and get the orientation right and that. That might work. Now, I'm going to modify it using what everyone will call a Dremel, but this one is Como drills. Uh, the reason I'm using this one is because this is the one I have. And why do I have this, not a Dremel? Because I got this for free. And I do not complain at free. What I don't have, though, is any slipping discs. this black section out first. Straight to save that bit for later. <coughs> so I suppose the first thing I should really do is take off these little things holding it together. They come with these little clips on, they should pop off. parts like this. I'm not modifying, I'm just using parts to effectively make something new. So it's completely brand new design type thing going on. Now that's the way. That does cause a problem there. So what I now need to do is, right, so by putting these two out, it kind of puts it in the right place. It should hold it there. So I marked that one. 
if, while it was still in place because I've got to flip this over now if anything moves I know I can line it back up again with that line there so I'm flipping it over taking my scribe again so what do I do I'm just marking every like overlap this is just to make sure if anything goes wrong I can realign it so yeah what I'm probably about to go and do is grind off these sections I'm going to have to go and do that in the other garage I think so sorry guys you're not going to see that but it is it's just grinding okay so before I started grinding or anything <coughs> I realised I'd best check the alignment between these two to see if they'll actually sit that close together and uh, they don't they're not far off though that's just like cast aluminium so I think I might just grind that off each side say there's I need 10 mil I'll just take 6 mil off each then they'll sit up quite close to each other I don't need that much I am just going to risk it for a biscuit okay so all I've taken off there is this little section here a little knife apparently because I didn't soften the edges so hopefully now these should sit together like that and the light shouldn't cause any problems for the actual unit. And have I got the order of this right? Yeah, they sit like that. Then there's a spacer. Yeah. I don't know if it's the way it's meant to go with the spacers, but I will put it that way because that's the way I want it. <coughs> so there's a spacer there. So I'll put the space in between that bit and that bit. So really that'll be bolted to that. Like that. Push through. Yeah. So this will happen a lot. It'll be on, off, on, off. It's the way you make these sort of things where you you have to constantly modify to get those shapes right and decide exactly how you're doing it. Uh, I know that that's the top there. You can already see where the problem is on that overlap, how much there is overlapped. Thankfully there was a large amount. Oh yes, because I, I have to decide now. This is the high beam and this is dip. So I have to decide now which way I want them. Do I want is there a legal aspect to which is which side's which? Well, I'm going to put dip on the right, high on the left, I think. No. Oh. Right, I'm just going to have a look at some bikes, see who's got which lights on. Okay, so that was pointless looking around. Uh, everyone either had one headlight or they didn't have the headlights on so I'm going to go with I'm going to put my low beam on the right hand side so it lights up as much of the road as possible when I need it and then high beam is obviously extra I don't think that is really going to make much difference but if there is a legal thing I've got a 50-50 and I think that's the correct way so what I need to do is figure out how much of this I need to shave off and I'll take a slither off that one. Uh, this I can do in the garage. I'm just going to use my angle grinder with a flap disc for this. A uh, couple of things I am going to do. <coughs> I'm going to get some of my nasty gaffer tape and I'm going to cover up that hole because there's big holes in these and believe it or not, hot uh, metal shards from a grinder will melt glass. How do I know this? Well, the window that used to be over there was covered in it. Uh, and years ago, a long, long time ago, uh, I was doing some work on a car, classic car. And we had the windscreen and everything out. And I forgot the windscreen hadn't been covered and was behind me and I started grinding. Uh, let's just say it was a very expensive mistake because well, 
it's a real screen for a start. And secondly, they don't make them anymore. No one knows the shape of them. Uh, it was for a rather expensive car as well. So let's just say I didn't get paid that week. Okay, so I've taken a big chunk out of that one. Taken a little bit out of that one. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere. Right. right, so what's next? Right, so we know that they both mount in there. We know that these are going to stick out quite proud. <laughs> they are, they really are. Uh, I will probably uh, be using Fabulous and framing this all a little bit better. But as long as they only come out below here, that's not a problem. So how am I going to cut the holes? I'm thinking core drill. And I did say a number before, but I can't remember what it was. Was it 80 something? If I do 80 mil, that's a bloody big core drill. Uh, I'm gonna go, what I will do is I will find some other nuts and bolts. I'll actually bolt this into place at these two points. I will then find the biggest core drill I can. Hopefully if I can get one that size, uh, I'll just press it through, holding everything level and very carefully and then make two big holes. Oh geez, it's in the other garage again. I need my drill press for this. Okay, so the first thing I think I should say is what you've just seen me do, do not do at home. Uh, that was ridiculously stupid of me. It was dangerous as hell. Okay, if I say that and you do it and you hurt yourself, it's your fault. Don't come crying to me. Oh, oh, that fits. I thought. I had one that was far too big and one that was seemed far too small, but upon insertion, it goes in at an angle like that, but that's fine. Oh, that's looking kind of badass. Let me show you that one. It's starting to, things are starting to come together. Why is that not? Oh yeah, because of the do that. No, getting somewhere. Let's see if I can get this one in as well. Yeah, I can think I can. Things need jiggled around a bit. Uh, now in here. Am I recording? Yeah, I am. I have a lot of. I happen to know that they're 7mm because I took this part yesterday and. Good. They were Phillips. So let's start on this this one. What I'm doing, it's a lot, like I said earlier, it's a lot of on off, on off. It's a lot of test fitting. If you just jump in and go, yeah, it'll be right, it won't be. So it's best to fix lots of little mistakes over the time and lots of, well, an entire fuck up at the end. Now the screws that I'm screwing in are actually what hold these in as well, but at this point in time, I only want these these bits to line up. So I think what I'll do is I will cut this section off here, just to give me more room to play with. And the best tool for that is going to be 
It's just going to be a hacksaw. Or at least a hacksaw blade. Okay, so I ended up just using grinder because it's quicker. It's messier as well, man. But uh, yeah, all them bits have gone. Let's just push them through. Come on, get bastard. Oh, yeah, you went through it before, but now. See, so there's, there's this bracket coming a problem. Don't really want to chop that off. Oh, there's a, that's why. Okay, so here's a problem. Here's a problem. So, really, I need to take off these two eyebrows. Kind of like that. And that's how I shake it out. Back to the grinder. Right, so after my little battery pack, for some reason, going flat very quickly, I've found that you can actually plug this into the mains if you have the adapter. Uh, so that's a little bit more of that chopped off. So you might be saying when you're taking a hell of a lot of plastic off, you know, you're destroying a hell of a lot. But the reality is I'm gonna rebuild it with fiberglass and various other body fillers. It's all all about getting it looking how I want it to look in the end. I see it's actually starting to come together. Obviously you've got to imagine it without that tape. Could just about do me there for now. What probably would have been easier would have been taking a piece of wood, sitting it on where I wanted it, get some cloth and then fiberglass that. But you know. <coughs> it's the fun of making these things, you never know how it's gonna work. You never know if it's gonna work to be honest. For once, this one is working for me. Well, hey. It's a shame I didn't have any pipe, same diameter, well, same internal diameter as these, and I'd just, just wrenched it in. I'd just literally done that. I'd have sat this down, fired in the pipe that I needed, fiberglassed it into place. It's an old hot rodders trick from back in the day. So, yeah, you can see where this is going. Oh. Undo the main bit, you div. <laughs> oh, Jesus, yeah, definitely time for a coffee. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for in the end. But then, uh, I'm doing a lot of work up until that point first to make everything fit. I have just realised I'm going to have issues bolting this all together if I don't do the fiberglassing right. Okay, so I was just having to think about how I'm going to attach these. I was saying, how can I get the nuts in behind the back? Well, I can't, simply. I can on two of them easy, one of them with some difficulty but can be done and that one in, it's impossible. I thought to myself well why don't I just do that where I've screwed it in that way and then it'll all hold together like it should not like this one uh, and then when I put this on it'll sit like that on all of them and then I can just tighten it down with another lock nut I don't even need to put spacers because it, it kind of sits flush against that front edge so without washes as spacers it'll work so yeah a simple thing of taking a bolt from that to that and the problem solved uh, all I've got to do now really which is going to be in my next video is either fiberglass well clean up these edges and then fiberglass of body filler I think what I'll do is I'll wrap these uh, what, what am I going to call them casings outer shell I'll wrap the outer shell with cling film and then I'll body fill it in and that way these can, these case outer casings can still outer shell what did I just call them this outer shell can still be slid out because if this doesn't work I still want you know I paid 25 quid for these lights not use them so yeah I'll wrap it with cling film and I'll start with body filler and fiberglass and see where it goes from there